all those books you make in elementary school that you write as a class, and some publishing company makes them into a real book so your family can buy copies? Well, when I was in the fourth grade, we were assigned to write and illustrate a short story that we would make into a book. Now, I'm pretty sure most people wrote stories about normal things, like their dog or their friends. But I wrote a story that had the title of, I do not like this family. I don't know for sure, but I bet this title made my teacher very worried. Here's what the cover looks like. Look, I'm so cute. As you can see here, I'm getting beaten up by my brother. Here, I'm being yelled at to wake up. And here, I'm looking out the window at kids having fun on their scooters, while I have a list of chores to do right here. And if anyone's wondering, I had a great childhood. I mean, I wasn't abused or anything. My parents' marriage was stable. I guess I just really hated the chores my mom made me do. But anyway, time to get into the juicy stuff. Here's the story. At school. Okay, class, time for recess. Side note, the teacher banned the class from using the word said in any of our writing. So that's why there's a lot of awkward exclamations. James, TJ exclaimed, where is Wesley? TJ and Wesley are real people that were actually my friends in fourth grade. Wesley moved to a different school, so we lost touch, but me and TJ are still friends. He is not here. Life is different without Wesley, replied James. Wesley, if you are watching this, I am so sorry. Is that Wesley over there? Boy, is he late, TJ replied. I don't know why I made all my friends talk like robots, but Wesley responds, I had a dentist appointment. That is why I am so late. James, did you get my invitation? Yeah, James answered. Can you come? Wesley asked. No, James answered. Why not? Wesley asked. A reporter is coming in, so we have to clean up the house. And my mom is going to be on TV at 12 o'clock midnight, James replied. I love how I never say why my mom will be on TV, but if she's not letting me go to a friend's birthday party so I can clean the house, she's probably doing something illegal. Who would want to stay awake for that long? Just for that, TJ exclaimed. My dear friend Wesley suggests you could run away. Like, I don't even run away to the birthday party. I just run away in the middle of the night. I think I will, James smiled. 11 a.m., time to go. But if I go out the door, the alarm will go. The escape ladder, James thought. James went down the ladder and hid behind a bush. End of page one. I'm going to skip ahead a bit because it's more of me talking to myself, but basically I get hungry. I want to eat some berries that's five miles away. I find a $1 bill and decide to take the bus there. One hour later. Where is that bus? James exclaimed. Finally, the bus is here, James replied with relief. I didn't reply to anything. Sorry, kid. Your parents aren't around, the bus driver replied, refusing to let him ride. The bus driver didn't reply to anything. I'm 11 years old, James exclaimed. I was actually 9 when I wrote this. Apparently being 11 meant you were all big and tough and could ride buses by yourself. So I go home, sleep, and in the morning I hear my dad say, It's too bad your interview on the news was cancelled, Dad replied. I obviously don't know what the word replying means. So I get excited that my mom's interview was cancelled and I can go to Wesley's birthday party. But then I scream, ow, in pain for some reason. And I'm in pain. And I say, I am going to be on my bed. So I'm on my bed. I rip up the dollar bill I found outside because I think it's unlucky. I also would like to point out that I used a semicolon in the right place. So I call my dad, who in this story is a doctor. And he says, okay, son, does this hurt? Yeah, James answered. Oh, no, dad exclaimed. So somehow my dad is able to successfully diagnose me by only asking if something hurts. Now, I don't know how real doctors diagnose people, but I'm pretty sure it's not like that. What if nine eyes, zzz, eight S's, and then a space, and then three Z's. And then I write, James said, as he fell asleep. As I'm laying on my bed unconscious, my dad says, kidney failure. And that is
that's followed by four frowny face emoticons in parentheses. I can't believe that my nine-year-old mind somehow knew what kidney failure was. Where did I learn this? Later at the hospital, he had an operation. He lost both of his kidneys, the nurse exclaimed. I'll donate a kidney, James's brother exclaimed. We're almost done, guys. And then I think to myself, kidney, kidney, kidney. Those words just repeated and repeated in his mind. James could not believe his ears. His brother, in parentheses, the one who beat him up, close parentheses, liked him. Okay, so this story just turned somewhat heartwarming. I wonder what I'll say next. After the operation, James and his brother had trouble going to the bathroom. Yeah, how did I know so much about an organ that helped you urinate? Okay, last sentence. James found out how much his family cared for him. I think your family cares for you, too. Actually, I remember that line. Yeah, my teacher made me write that in.